Hey guys, Ivan here and this video as you can see we are starting with a new, yes new, another video, another update of Big Grammy. So right after he posted that photo he posted a posing video and let me tell you this video is far more accurate than the photo because the lighting here is more similar to the lighting we'll see on stage. So you can say this photo was taken when he was kind of hiding himself in the shadow so it doesn't really look that good, as good as the video does. I mean the photo does look very good and it's also pretty accurate and it was taken in this room at the end of this video you're gonna see it in a second but this is a more accurate representation of what Big Ramy looks like and just like Phil Heath says here he is not playing around Big Ramy is bringing it and most likely he's going to win the Mr. Olympia again because he looks insane he looks ridiculous and when i'm watching this i'm thinking big ram is kind of underrated lately we do not appreciate how freaky this guy actually is as you can see now he's hitting the most muscular that was posted on his social media yesterday somebody took this photo with a phone so as you can see big Ramy looks really really big take a look at this most muscular i was talking about some guys potentially challenging him like for example samson dauda who is uh, getting very close to big Ramy in weight but when i'm looking at this i'm thinking the weight doesn't really matter that much nobody is gonna be this freaky nobody has these crazy shoulders nobody's gonna be as wide as big Ramy. nobody has this kind of thickness the density and the, the, the sheer mass you know the freakiness the size nobody has that and also with all that he also has pretty good aesthetics so look at his side chest I mean he's doing it now in a more of a classic way than what he did at Mr. Olympia he's opening his chest up more he's doing it kind of the way Arnold was doing it and it looks good I don't know if it's gonna look the same on stage but right here it looks very good very good is definitely an understatement it's uh, putting it mildly it looks insane it looks ridiculous now his back is probably one of his weakest body parts and i'm not saying that big ram's back is not good it's it's massive it's huge but it's not as good as the other body parts and he's probably holding on the most fat and water in that area so now in the off season as you can see his back is not exactly super shredded but it has a lot of mass take a look at the traps take a look at the lads and the christmas tree the directors are also very very massive i mean everything on this guy is super super big so if you're talking about the size i don't think anybody's gonna be touching big Grammy. and as long as he brings decent level of conditioning it's gonna be enough take a look at his delts when he turns around look at the look at the rear delt and look at the side delt now <laughs> and the front part as well and honestly they do look freaky but i wouldn't even say that they look sintelish i don't think he's injecting them with sintel i think he just has really freaky delts in insanely freaky delts and he probably trained him here and he got him bumped up i might be wrong i'm not sure if you guys think i'm wrong if you think he's doing something to his delts if they look suspicious to you tell me in the comment section down below but they definitely do look freaky and here is the moment when they took that photo that he posted on his ig take a look at his most muscular once again take a look at the delts take a look at the chest take a look at the arms and also the small waist we cannot see his legs but <laughs> they are actually freakier than everything on his upper body so how crazy that is and based on what i'm seeing right here my overall conclusion is big ram is going to repeat a victory this year the mr olympia that's just my assessment from what i'm seeing right here if you guys think otherwise or whatever is on your mind tell me in the comment section down below if you guys want to support this channel you can do that by buying one of the old school apps products there is a link down below and if you use a code even you get a 12 percent discount i would suggest the vintage brawn for you it's a great tasting whey protein powder there are so many flavors you can choose whichever one you like but it's actually not just whey protein powder it is whey isolate but it's also egg white protein and beef isolate protein so if you guys want to support me and my channel buying this protein for example would be a great help all right the next thing i wanted to talk about is the upcoming show texas pro and this freaking crazy lineup here so as you can see we have uh, morgan ace we have eddie bracamontes we have uh, phil clahar kamal Algarni, martin fitzwater rowan fritz steve kuklo song chu lee joseph mackie and you also have andrew jacked and the part that i highlighted is nathan epler a former arnold classic 212 champion and also he took third at tampa this past weekend and he looked great i gotta say he looked awesome he has a great physique he looks awesome in many poses i don't like his varicose wings on his squats they are definitely destroying the aesthetics of his physique but this guy you know he's a 212 champion and he won again arnold classic in 212 but he's a taller guy 
As you can see, standing next to the other 212 guys, he kind of gets out-muscled. So there was basically no chance of him uh, cracking that top 2 or winning the Tampa Pro. It was, it was really clear that Keon and uh, Carrot were fighting for that first spot. And Ethan Appler was very strong in the second callout. He was, he was very firmly in that third place. And again, the only reason that he's not gonna be able to beat some of these guys is because they are much shorter and they can be much bigger, much rounder than him. Him, and he looks a little bit stringy standing next to them. Another thing that I don't like about Nathan is the way his legs look from behind. No, I'm not saying that he has weak hamstrings. He actually has great hamstrings and when he's conditioned, they get super detailed. Much more detailed than those of Keon, for example, and probably even Carrot. But his legs are simply too small. And you can see that from behind. From the front, you kind of can't see it because he has a great quad shape. But from behind, you cannot hide that lack of mass in the lower body. And as you can see, these guys are definitely smoking him in glutes in legs so from behind he needs to work on that also of course his back would be thicker and one of the potential reasons why he's looking this well i don't want to say stringy but smaller than the other guys in this lineup is because he had to suffer really bad to make the weight to actually get down to 212 and i don't think he belongs in 212 he is a taller guy he's not as short as you can see keon is taller than carrot carrot is for 212 that's for sure keon also but nathan no so finally he decided to move to the open to make that switch and as you can see at 220 pounds he definitely does look fuller, bigger, rounder and uh, how well will he do in that open class? I have to say probably not very good, I don't think he's that big as of yet. So again he won the Arnold Classic and that means that he's a good 212 competitor. As you can see more and more 212 guys are moving to the open. So I think it was a good thing that Kamal lost at Tampa to Akeem because that kind of told us not any 212 guy, not any smaller guy can just come in the open and kill these mass monsters, no. 212 exists for a reason, for the smaller guys, so not every 212 guy is gonna do super well in the open, not everybody is as big as Hadi, as Bonac, as Sean Clarida too, yeah, Sean Clarida is very short, but he has a ton of muscle on his frame, and I think situation with Nathan Appler is probably gonna be similar to that of Kamal El Gargni, so I don't think he's that big yet. And he wasn't able to crack that top two at Tampa. If we had Keon competing in the open, that might have been a different story. But Nathan, I don't see him cracking the top six, especially not in this lineup. He chose one of the toughest shows of the year to do his open debut. We'll see how he's gonna do. As you can see, more and more 212 guys are moving to the open. But I think this guy belongs in the open. Uh, maybe he's not ready as of yet. Uh, he needs to grow a little bit more muscle, maybe like another 20 pounds. At 240, he would be actually competitive. What do you guys think? Where he belongs and how will he do at Texas in the open division? All right, the next thing we have is an update of Sergio Oliva. It's been a while since we saw anything from this guy. From what we know, he actually moved to, to Dubai and he's training over there. He's trying to grow. He wants to grow more muscle before he steps on the stage again. He spoke about this in Larry Wheel's video. He talks about having super fast metabolism and he can't grow muscle that easily. He needs to be on point, on track every day. He can't miss a meal. And he says most of his meals are actually cheat meals, meaning he never eats clean. Not saying that he eats pizza all day or whatever. He's just not eating like chicken and rice type of meals because he needs more calorically dense food and I think that's a good thing. Some people could uh, take a lesson from him like for example Roman Fritz who is eating completely clean uh, all year around and he can't seem to grow. Sergio Oliva he has a big big frame man so that's why he has trouble being as muscular as round as some of the guys but he's actually very very big as you can see here standing next to Larry Wheels he kind of smokes him he dwarfs him he has so much more dense muscle because he's a bodybuilder but he's actually very tall he's around six foot so he's deceivingly big you cannot see it in this photo here in this photo you can see his conditioning and he's actually pretty lean for the off season he basically has no fat not a lot he is holding some water but he's actually very very lean and and hopefully he is growing. He didn't say what his weight 
is right now in this photo, but he's talking about uh, changing the way he does the back, the front double bicep, and I would say he should change it to this. This looks very good. As you can see, his arms are really massive. Still, there are some gaps. I mean, his lats could be thicker from the front, his legs could be rounder, and considering that he is a guy with a super fast metabolism, you know, it's tough. It's tough for him. He needs to eat all day long, and it's hard for him to gain any weight, and uh, even though he's a really big guy because he's tall, he's still not as round, as complete as some of the shorter guys in the open, so he's gonna have trouble putting the, the needed muscle on, but I hope he's not gonna give up, I hope he's gonna try and do as good as he can, and next time we see him on stage, he's actually gonna be bigger, and also more conditioned, the last time we saw him on stage, he was not conditioned at all, so hopefully this time around, he's going to fix that and come in peeled. What do you guys think about Sergio Oliva, what do you think about Dayton Appler, how he's gonna do at Texas, and what do you think about the Big Ramy, based on that video, do you think he's gonna be defending the Mr. Olympia title this year? Whatever you think, tell me in the comment section down below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe, for more bodybuilding content like this, thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.